Welcome to my engineering drawing playlist. Today I am going to discuss about how to draw hexagon or you can say how to draw regular hexagon. So in the last video we have discussed about system of dimensioning, regular pentagon, 12 equal parts of line, 12 equal parts of circle. Now it's turn for the regular hexagon. So let's see first of all the description I draw a regular hexagon of 50 mm side. So we are going to draw the hexagon that is actually by default regular hexagon if it is not mentioned. Regular hexagon that means all the six side of the hexagons are equal. First of all take the scale draw the horizontal line that is exactly equal to the double of this side. That means 100 mm. Here you can see 100 mm. Now give the name at the end of this line as A and B. Mark the midpoint of this line AB. Give the name as O. Now take compass and set the radius of the compass as 50 mm. Now draw the circle with O as the center. Next, draw the vertical line passing through this point O with the help of the scale. So you will get these two points as an intersection of this vertical line and the circle mark as C and D. So now these are your four centers. So once you got this four center, now it is very simple. Once again take the compass and set as a radius of OB or you can say exactly equal to the side of the hexagon 50 mm. Now one by one you have to take this all four center and draw the arc on both side. So here you can see now with the same radius A as a center draw the arc on the circle. Next. D as the center with the same radius through the arc on the circle. Next B as the center with the same radius through the arc on the circle. So it is very simple once you got this four center then you have to draw the arc on the circle by taking center A, B, C and D one by one. Now give the name as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 the clockwise or you can give in the anti-clockwise. One more thing you can start from anywhere also. Now join this point. So you will get the hexagon. Here this is your output. So this hexagon only should be the dark. The remaining work should be as light as possible. Now here you can see this is a vertical line. You can draw the hexagon like this also. So depends on the requirement you can draw the hexagon in this position or in this position. So at last we have to give the dimension in your figure because of it is mentioned in the description. So I am going to give the dimension over here as 50 mm. Once again keep in mind that this dimensioning method is aligned system. So you have to follow each and every dimension in this figure by aligned system only. You can follow unidirectional method also. So at that time you have to give all the dimension in the unidirectional method. You can't mix actually both the method aligned as well as unidirectional method in the single drawing. And at last give the name of this output that you know very well this is hexagon. So mention it. It is your answer. If this is your hexagon then give the dimension at one place only 50 mm. This is once again aligned system and give the name as hexagon. So don't draw in the examination both the drawing. You can draw any one drawing that depends on the description. If it is not mentioned anything in the description then you can draw this type of the hexagon or this type of the hexagon. Now at last. How can you draw dodecagon? Write your answer in the comment box. Thanks my dear friends for watching this video. Press the like button to appreciate it.